السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته So السلام عليكم my brothers الحمد لله رب العالمين نحمده ونشكره ونتوب إليه ونستغفره اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين الحمد لله رب العالمين So alhamdulillah uh, as we know Allah Allah Azza wa Jal has created seven different levels of the jannah of the paradise and we know that the most virtuous amongst these seven it's the seventh level jannah al firdaus the most blessed the most uh, virtuous the one that has the most reward the one that's the most beloved to Allah Azza wa Jal is the seventh level of Jannah, of paradise, Jannah al Firdaus. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed many ayats, many verses in the Quran. And amongst these uh, verses, the most blessed is Ayatul Kursi. Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al-hayyul qayyum. Allah Azza wa Jal, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed and sent many messengers and prophets and ahabba nas the most beloved to Allah is Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and Allah revealed the months and we know that the most blessed amongst these months is is shahrul ramadan the month of ramadan and Allah revealed the day and the night and we know that the night, the most blessed night throughout the entire year, it's Laylatul Qadr. And the most blessed day throughout the entire year is the day of Arafah, Yawmul Arafah. Which is, subhanAllah, tomorrow, inshaAllah. The ninth of Dhul Hijjah, Yawmul Arafah, the day of Arafah, is tomorrow, inshaAllah, Thursday. Uh, July 30th, inshaAllah. So, one of uh, a Jewish man. He went to Sayyidina Umar ibn Khattab radiyallahu an, And he told him that there is, there is an ayah in the Qur'an If Allah revealed it to us, meaning the Jewish people, meaning the Jewish community We would take this day as a holiday, we would take this day as a festival So Sayyidina Umar asked him, so which ayah are you talking about? So he told him the ayah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Ma'idah, Al-Ma'idah, uh, الْيَوْمَ أَكْمَلْتُ لَكُمْ دِينَكُمْ وَأَتْمَمْتُ عَلَيْكُمْ نِعْمَتِي وَرَضِيتُ لَكُمُ الْإِسْلَامَ دِينًا Allah is saying in this verse, I have completed uh, your deen, the religion of Islam for you, and I am satisfied with the, with the, with the religion of Islam for you. And subhanAllah, this ayah, this verse, it completed the Sharia of Islam. This verse, it was the last revelation, according to the majority of the scholars. This is the last verse revealed to Rasulullah. And, and it completed the Islam, it completed the Sharia, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed it on the day of Arafah. And Yawm al Arafah, this is the day Allah revealed this ayah on a Friday. And in another hadith, uh, Rasulullah ﷺ mentions that Allah took the covenant from Adam ﷺ, from the back of Adam ﷺ in Arafah, in Yawm al-Arafah. And from his back, from his loin, he extracted the entire mankind. And subhanAllah, all the prophets were there. I was there, you were there, we were all there, subhanAllah. And subhanAllah, even people like Fir'aun, Abu Lahab, Abu Jahl, all these people were there. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addressed all of these people, asking, Alastu bi rabbikum, am I not your Lord? And all of us replied, Bala, yes indeed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you are our Lord. So if the Jewish man is valuing this day, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself is valuing this day and is raising this day in the Qur'an. So it's showing us that we must value this day insha'Allah. 
And inshallah, in this short, short uh, lecture, we will just talk about some of the ni'am, some of the, the blessings of the day of Arafah. Which is, again, reminding you again, the day of Arafah, it's tomorrow, inshallah. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we discussed in the khutbah last week, that Allah subhanallah mentions Dhul Hijjah, the first 10 days of Dhul Hijjah in the Quran, where Allah says, Wal Fajr, wa layalin ashr. And we, we, we spoke about how the majority of the Mufassirin, majority of the scholars, they say, Wa layalin ashr, it's referring to the, uh, the first 10 days. And even though Allah uses layal, but the scholars of Quran, they say, Layal and Ayyam, they can, they can, you can use uh, Ayyam for Layal and vice versa. They're interchangeable. So, Allah says in the Quran, وَشَاهِدٍ وَمَشْهُودٍ And Sayyidina Ibn Abbas, عنه, one of the great, great Sahaba, one of the most knowledgeable Sahaba, and Mufassir, he says that Shahid, it's referring to the day of Jum'ah, the Friday. وَمَشْهُودٍ it's referring to the Yom Al Arafah. So the Friday, it will inshallah, it will testify as to who is praying in it. And similarly, likewise, the day of Arafah, it's a day Allah and His angels, so they are witnessing and observing who is worshiping Allah. And as we know, it's a day of 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 great mawfila, uh, Yom Al Mawfila, Subhanallah. Um, we learn from the hadith, Sayyidina, uh, subhanAllah, the, the wife of Rasulullah Sallallahu uh, Alaihi Wasallam, Aisha radiallahu anha, uh, she narrates that Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that there is no day, no day throughout the entire year where Allah is forgiving people and saving people from the fire, from Jahannam, more than the day of Arafah. So there are a lot of blessings and, a, and subhanAllah, a lot of mawfirah in this day. So try inshallah to ask Allah to forgive all of us inshallah. It's a day where shaitan, subhanAllah, Iblis himself, he feels uh, humiliated. And he's very angry because subhanAllah that the Yom Al-Arafah, the day of Arafah, as we know the hajjaj, they're going onto the field of Arafah. And even though it's a small number this year, but subhanAllah, Iblis is very, very upset on this day. Because he's seeing, subhanAllah, all the hujjaj gathering, and all these people, subhanAllah, fasting and praying and, and invoking Allah. So this day, subhanAllah, we are humiliating Iblis more than any other day. And subhanAllah, it's a day where Allah Himself, He's descending down to the lower level of Jannah, and he's telling, subhanAllah, the angels, so subhanAllah, look at all of my uh, my servants. They're worshipping me, and they're making dua. And Allah tells the angels, the malaika, so give them whatever they're asking for. So try, inshallah, to make a lot of dua. It's one of the most important, if not the most important thing we can do on the day of Arafah. Make dua, because Allah promises, inshallah, to accept our duas. Uh, and the hadith of Rasulullah Sallallahu uh, To put it very simply uh, The day of Arafah, it's the best day Like we said earlier It's the best day throughout the entire year And uh, the best day Like we just said, the best day That's another hadith The best day to make dua to Allah it's the day of Arafah. And subhanAllah, yani make a list, you know, make a list from tonight uh, on the du'as, on everything you need, subhanAllah. If, if subhanAllah, we're looking to get married and to find a righteous spouse, so make du'a to Allah. Write this down, make du'a to Allah. Ya Allah, give me a righteous spouse. Um, subhanAllah, if you're searching for a job, so write this down and make dua tomorrow. Make dua every day, but specifically tomorrow, especially tomorrow. Make dua to Allah, Ya Allah, you know, if this job uh, is good for me, so inshallah, give me it. Make dua to Allah that Allah 
can unite us as one community. Make dua to Allah that all of us, inshallah, we will meet one another in Jannah. And Jannah al Firdaus, inshallah, and ask Allah that we die, subhanAllah, we pass away with the kalima, La ilaha illallah, Muhammadur Rasulullah. And subhanAllah, the scholars mention that if you do not ask Allah on this day, subhanAllah, Allah is upset with you. Because the mercy of Allah is there, and Allah wants us to ask Him. And Allah will grant it to us, inshallah. And inshallah, I will end with this hadith, which we all know, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. A man, he went to Rasulullah Sallallahu and he asked about fasting on the day of Arafah. And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi the Prophet told him, Alayhi salam, that the one who fasts on the ninth of Dhul Hijjah, meaning tomorrow, the day of Arafah, Allah will erase his previous year's sins and the upcoming year's sins. SubhanAllah. Just fasting one extra day, one extra day throughout the entire year, we will gain uh, the expiation of two years worth of sins. And of course, this is not giving us license to do whatever we want for the next year. But inshallah, with the right intention, I, I hope and I pray that everyone or anyone that he, he or she is healthy and is able to fast tomorrow, I hope inshallah we will fast tomorrow bi idnillah. If inshallah your health is good and you're able to fast, so please make intention and fast tomorrow inshallah. For verily it will erase two years sins, the previous year and the upcoming year. And subhanAllah, after hearing all these blessings of this day, Wallahi the wise person, the wise believer, he will take advantage of tomorrow. And subhanAllah, the foolish person, he will... He will spend this day like it's any other day, subhanAllah. So be wise and try to fast tomorrow and try to pray your salawat, your prayers on time. Try to pray some nawafil. Or try to, subhanAllah, the dhikr, as we mentioned, as we keep mentioning in these days, the dhikr, the tasbih, the tahmeed, the takbir. No days. There is hadith Rasulullah says, all of this, SubhanAllah, there is no day which all of this, the tasbih, everything, it's more beloved to Allah than the first 10 days of the hijjah So make dhikr in your free time, recite the Qur'an, and most importantly, make dua for anything that you might want. InshaAllah, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept uh, all of our ibadah. We ask Allah azza wa jal to make us of those who value the days of the hijjah and value the day of Arafah. May Allah Azza wa Jal give us everything that we're asking for, forgive our sins and protect our families. Allahumma Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adab al nar. Allahumma inna nas'aluk al jannah wa na'udhu bika min nar. Wa salli Allahumma ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Walhamdulillah rabbil alayhi wa barakallahu fiqh wa taqabla Allahumma minna wa minkum.